I mean, can you imagine when people start to get stoned from facial masks? Welcome back to my channel with me Zeva. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you local, sustainable, eco-beauty brands. What I mean by global is because it's a mix of global brands and also local brands. I personally still believe that if you want to purchase beauty products specifically, it is best to buy local because it means that you're contributing to less carbon footprint. Even if you want to buy international brands, if it already exists within your country, it means that it's alright. You don't need to ship it again yourself overseas. In this video, I will show you a couple of global brands that exist in various countries because I know those who are subscribed to my channel are not only from Indonesia and in fact, majority of you are from abroad. However, most of the beauty brands that I'm gonna be showing you are Indonesian made and they're only accessible in the Indonesian market. But it's okay, who knows you'll be inspired to find similar products in your area to the ones that I have here in Indonesia. Inspiration for sustainable beauty, eco beauty can be from anywhere. So let's get started to the first one. Let's go global first. The first brand that I want to show to you is it is available globally in various countries, more on that later. This is Sukin. Sukin is an Australian brand. It's vegan friendly and also cruelty free. It was established in 2007 in Australia, so they don't produce this elsewhere abroad in another country. They produce it all in Australia, specifically in Victoria. These are the countries and regions where you can purchase Sukin, so look for the ones closest to you. Something significant that I would like to highlight about Sukin as a brand is that their efforts to achieve sustainability in their business model is really something to applaud for because they really try to show that their brand is carbon neutral and specifically carbon footprint free. So they don't only focus on sustainable packaging and also vegan friendly and cruelty free ingredients, but they try to go beyond that a step forwards by supporting various environmental projects out there that ensure that they can carbon offset their business model. For those of you who don't know what carbon offsetting is, it's basically when you produce a product, like when a business produces their products or their services, usually the process will create carbon through the energy that they use, for example, and the manpower to distribution processes, blah, 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 many things create carbon. So, in expense to that, they buy carbon credits from various certified environmental projects across the world by supporting them, investing in these projects. So when these environmental projects implement their programs and activities, for example, for Sukin, they have supported various renewable energy programs in a few parts of the world. As these renewable energy programs, for example, clean the air, it also hopefully, indirectly, helps clean the carbon that is produced by Sukin as a brand. Sukin's carbon credits are tracked in a public registry. If you want to know their carbon offsetting program, you should check out an organization that they work with called Greening Australia. It's all there. Through the certified projects that Sukin supports around the world, including in China and in India, they have claimed to have carbon offsetted 45,000 tons of carbon. That's a lot. Now what about the product? What about the foaming facial cleanser that they have? So this is actually a smaller size. There's another size that is full size in the form of a pump. The formula here is suitable for normal to oily skin. Even me, I have a combination skin type and this still suits my skin type. It's very gentle. So even if you have sensitive skin, this will be perfect for you. This facial cleanser contains evening primrose, it contains chamomile, aloe vera, witch hazel, and also green tea. It also has various oils, so it's great to slow off any excess makeup, excess oil, and also dirt builds up on your face. And one of the oils that I love that is contained within this facial cleanser is rosehip oil, so it also has that. And whenever I use this, afterwards, my skin feels super fresh and also very smooth and very soft and supple. 
The next item is Jaffer's Royal Jelly Boost Clay Mask. This one here. This is amazing. But before I get to this, let's talk a bit about the brand. Jaffra is a cruelty-free brand found in 1956 by Jan Day and also her husband Frank. So Jaffra from Jan and Frank, super cute. And this is a family-owned business. So the products that they make aren't only for women's skincare. They also make products for men and children too. Their product research labs are located in the US, specifically in Malibu, California, where their headquarters are but they're manufactured in Mexico. You can find Jaffra worldwide in many countries. I'll put the flags right up here. Something that I really admire about Jaffra as a brand as I read more about the brand itself is that they have created over these decades an inclusive community that consists of beauty consultants. So through their MLM or multi-level marketing business model, they have managed to empower many people across the world. And I think to maintain a community for that long, not many brands can do that. So props to Jaffra. Now about their Royal Jelly Boost Clay Mask. So even though it is called a clay mask, it doesn't dry up your face. You know when you use those clay masks, as the time goes by, it really tightens and strips away a lot of the oils on your face. But this one here has a lighter texture, even though it does dry up on your face, as what clays usually do to your skin, but it doesn't become crackly and really dry as a drought. You know what I mean, ladies and gents who like to do face masks. It doesn't do all that. It has a more moisturizing effect. This clay mask also contains Jaffra's signature RJX technology. So they have managed to find a way to make the potency of royal jelly even better when it comes to anti-aging efforts and also moisturizing. And other than the RGX technology, this is also infused with antioxidant rich matcha and also spinach. Interesting. I've now let's go to the local products that is based in Indonesia. For those of you who don't live in Indonesia, see this as an inspiration and who knows you can find something similar where you're at. The first one is by Sasuka. This is Sasuka's Afterglow Gentle Balm Exfoliant. So first of all, a bit about the brand. So Sasuka is a cruelty-free indie Indonesian skincare brand that was launched in 2018. All their products are natural based and I just love the Indonesian spa feel to the sense that they use for the fragrances of their products. It has this herbally spices floral by the way i just miss going to the spa before this pandemic situation i routinely go to the spa to get like a body massage body scrub and it's been a very long while since i've had that and i just miss that so this is an oil-based cleanser you can use afterglow as a first cleanser especially if you don't have any makeup on or you can also use this as a part of your double cleansing process. For those of you who don't know about double cleansing, it's when you first use an oil-based cleanser on your face and then continue it with a water-based cleanser on your face. This gives a more thorough cleanse on your skin and it is great if you have makeup on and you want to remove everything off of your face. For the ingredients that I would like to highlight from Afterglow is that it contains cannabis sativa seed oil. Don't worry, this is nothing to do with marijuana. <laughs> Not directly anyway. So cannabis sativa seed oil is actually extracted from hemp seed. You're not gonna get high, don't worry, because these are extracted from the seeds and not the leaves. The seeds, they don't contain CBD or THC compounds. I mean, can you imagine when people start to get stoned <laughs> from facial masks? But no, this doesn't contain CBD or THC. You're not gonna get stoned. This also contains rosemary leaf extract that softens the skin and also turmeric root extract that is anti-inflammatory in its properties. So it's good to cure any acne on your face and just basically not inflame the skin. After I use this, my skin feels bouncier and has this more glowing effect, which I really like. It just makes your skin look more healthy. Oh, I love the smell. Next up is this scrumptious body butter by Dimanja Bumi called Gaia. 
By the way, a bit about Dimanja Bumi. They are a vegan friendly and cruelty free skincare brand and they were established back in 2017. Dimanja Bumi, they create plant based skincare products. They are an artisanal brand, so they only create their products in small batches. This guarantees the freshness to the products that they make. So when you receive this in the mail, it is guaranteed that it is freshly made. I also love how they primarily use less waste packaging. For example, this is from Amber Glass. Now, what about their product? So their body butter range, it comes in various fragrances and also various ingredients per type. This one is the Gaia one. So this Gaia one, it has a more earthy, woody scent to it. This consists of vertiver, pearl balsam, juniper berry, with a dash of ylang ylang and sweet orange. I love a basic woody scent for a body butter because it's more neutral. So when I use perfume, it won't be overpowering between the scent of the body butter and the scent of the perfume. The butter itself, it consists of shea, kokum, and mango butters. It has a thick consistency and only a little bit goes a long way. So when I put this on my skin, it just melts into the skin so beautifully. Whenever I finish having a shower, I just can't wait to put this on my body because it has that therapeutic feel as well. From the scent, from the consistency, it's just divine. Next up is Purivera Botanicals Rose Hip Oil. This is cold pressed, a premium cold pressed oil. So a bit about this brand. So Purivera Botanicals is vegan friendly and cruelty free. It is an Indonesian brand established in 2017. They only use natural food grade ingredients so you will be assured that their products are completely natural and completely safe to use. This is straight up pure 100% cold pressed rosehip oil. It is rich in vitamin C, vitamin A, antioxidants and fatty acids. Overall, in my opinion, rosehip oil is more potent in its anti-aging property efforts <laughs> compared to almond oil. And it's also great to regenerate cells or skin cells and also fade away any acne scars. And the texture, it is lightweight for an oil, so you won't feel stuffy and sticky and overwhelming when you use this oil. And usually I mix my rosehip oil with my squalene oil from Olivarier. If you want to know more about that, you should check out my other video about Korean beauty skincare brands. I'll put the link in the description box down below. Make sure to check that out if you haven't already done so. And you can use this under makeup to give a more glowy finish or you can also use this overnight. So when you wake up the next morning, your skin feels very plumped and revived. The next product is by Jaffra again. I'm not going to be explaining about the brand because I've already done that in the beginning of this video. This is their Royal Jelly Boost Cover Me Sunscreen that is SPF 30 plus. So this is self-explanatory, it's a sunscreen. But what makes this sunscreen unique are these things that I'm about to tell you. First of all, this is oil-free, so it is gel-based. So when you want to use this under your makeup, it's perfect because the finish is seamless and matte. It doesn't give you that white cast that usual sunscreen give you. And another unique thing about this product that I haven't heard in other sunscreens out there is that they claim to have what is called a blue shield. Sorry, a blue light shield. So the shield in the sunscreen claims to protect you from the blue light that comes from the screens of your laptops and also your handphones. I know about blue lights when it comes to their effects to our eyes, to our vision, but I didn't know that it also affects your skin. So. Interesting, could be true. This sunscreen, in my opinion, also has a nice pleasant floral scent. So it really calms me and also protects me at the same time. So we've done all the skincare products, both global and local. So now let's get into the makeup products. But these are all local, by the way. This here is a brand called Made by Runa. This is one of their Moon Flush series. It's a cream to powder blush. A bit about Made by Runa, they were established last year in 2019. They are a vegan friendly and a cruelty free brand based in Jakarta, Indonesia. The formulation of their products, they also claim that it doesn't contain gluten, parabens, phthalates, sulfates and synthetic fragrances. Here I have their Moonflush Blush series in Aries. So Aries has this striking crimson red color. 
even though it looks like super red here when you apply it on your skin for example on your cheekbones or even your eyelids or your lips it will have this nice subtle flush so it looks really natural and it's actually buildable and blendable so a little goes a long way and you can build it up and up and up according to your liking this is a cream blush but when you apply it on your skin it turns powdery and then with a beautiful satin finish that is seamless on your skin this also contains sweet almond oil and also a vitamin E that's why when you use this, it also moisturizes your skin I'm actually using Aries right now on my cheeks and also my cheekbones as you can see, it gives a natural flush it doesn't look too much it comes off as seamless and also buildable so I can use this to touch up throughout the day when I feel like my cheeks and my face in general needs an extra flush Last but not least is this tinted lip balm from Tropical Sensations. They were established in 2019. They are vegan friendly and cruelty free. Also safe for those who are pregnant because it's completely natural. This tinted lip balm is highly pigmented by the way. So it's not like those usual tinted lip balms out there that aren't actually that pigmented. And because it is highly pigmented, you can use this on your lips, on your cheeks, as a cream blush on your eyelids but for me personally I would prefer this to use as a lip balm so here I have the tinted lip balm in pinky berry here is the color and this actually gives you two types of finishes so this tinted lip balm either gives you a glossy finish if you use it on its own or if you dab your lips to a handkerchief or to a tissue paper like that it will give a matte finish so if you want a glossy finish or a matte finish, it's completely up to you. So those are all the local or global and local eco sustainable beauty products from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Try these out if you feel like it, at least one of them. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.